once again you find us in the saloon of a Mississippi gambling boat. Did you know, and you probably didn't, that in those days men didn't just gamble with cards and dice and things like that. They used to gamble with anything. They'd gamble on flies crawling up a window, that kind of thing. Who are you, by the way? Nigel. Nigel who? Pentland. What's the wee badge? Boys Brigade, Queen's Badge. Oh, a good living youth. <laughs> I see. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? Dumfries. Dumfries? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, you'll be able to go back and clean up if I teach you this. <laughs> not, <laughs> not that I will. We'll gamble with this. This is my watch chain, OK? Yeah. And I'll show you a little gambling game that they used to play a long time ago. This is really easy. You can look at that. It's only a chain, all right? And they would place any kind of bet on at all, you know. I mean, are you a drinking man? No. Well, occasionally I have been known to take of an orange juice. <laughs> so that's what we'll kind of play. Orange juice against my, my watch, OK? Now, let me show you the rules of the game. They're very simple. Onto the table service or the bar service or any, even the floor some nights, all they would do is they'd make little tiny circles like that, OK? Now, how many have we made there? Can you count that many? Five. Five? Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> the difficulty is this. You've got to place your finger into... Uh, <laughs> I should have paid attention. That one. And then it is locked on. And, of course, that, that makes you a winner. Yeah. If you get your finger caught in there, you're a winner. Do you understand that? Yes. OK, let's play the game. Now, all you've got to do is pick either that circle or that circle or that circle or that circle. How many have we got now? Four. Right. Five is the name of the game. You put your <coughs> finger in there. And remember, what we're playing for is a drink, you know, something mm. like that. That's what they would be playing for. Just put your hand in any one of them. Put your finger in that one. Mm. Uh, keep your finger pressed to the table, and everyone will know that I am not, in truth, cheating when I do this, and it just comes free. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> you want me a drink? <laughs> we'll try it again. And I'll make it a little easier for you. All right? A little easier this time. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. OK? All they do is they go round and round. There you go. Second on the right and pull from the left. I remember the rules now. Second from the right, pull from the left, OK? Or was it second from the left and pull from the right? You'll never know. All you know is this, that the gentleman puts in front of you the four circles like that, and you put your finger into any one of them, OK? Put your finger into any one of them you like. I don't know why, keep your finger pressed down, they never pick the one that I do, but nevertheless, they always lose. <laughs> See? It's a shame. It's a shame. One, two, three, look. Three loops. Have you noticed, Nigel, there's a little bit of jiggery-pokery going on. Have you noticed that every time I put my finger in, I pull from the left? And every time you put your finger in, I pull from the right. Have you noticed that? No. Have you not noticed? <laughs> See? There is a sucker born every minute. <laughs> what you do is very simple. If I go from the one, if I go for the two, if I go for the three, and remember, of course, you owe me two drinks. OK? You do right. owe me two drinks. You place your finger in any one of those you like. OK? Any one you like. Ah, the same one as I. Yeah. Would you like me to pull from the left or pull from the right? Left. From the left? Uh, yes, I thought you'd fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three good. One, two. Now, I'll tell you, Nigel, it's pretty obvious that if there's two in there like that and you put your finger in one of the other of them and you pull that, you're going to get locked on. Yeah. OK? Did you notice how I went like that to confuse you? <laughs> But remember, it's three drinks you owe me and you still haven't won the watch. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do is a very special offer here, a very special offer. Put your two fingers in, OK? Now, obviously, if I pull that from the left or the right, your decision? Left. Left, OK? Keep your fingers pressed down tight. They are locked. But that's yeah. not fair because one is obviously locking the other one, yeah. OK? Now, I'll tell you. I will throw all the chain in like this so that no one can see which goes where. I'll keep tight hold of this one point on the chain and I'll not leave go of it. Mm. You lift one finger and one finger only. doesn't matter which one. If you've lifted one and that one is trapped, you're the winner, OK? Mm. Unfortunately, <laughs> you didn't pick the right one. Four drinks you owe me. Four drinks and you still haven't won the watch. Look, I'll do you a very special offer. It is my best offer here. One circle, OK? One circle. There it is, like that. And I will pull from the right this time, just to prove it doesn't matter which way you pull it, OK? It really doesn't matter which way you pull it, said he, laughing. <laughs> All you've got to do is put your finger in the middle of that one hoop, like that, OK? And it's double or quits, OK? <laughs> oh, double or quits. And we just get hold of the same place and we pull. And would you believe that it just comes free and you're five drinks? <laughs>
be stranger than anything else. You shouldn't play that enough, though.